Hey, what's up everybody? Ben Spillata here. Today we are tracking the sun and we're going to show you how to with the Dwarf 3 Smart Telescope. Okay, so here we are outside with the Dwarf 3 and the beautiful sunrise. And basically the ND filters are indeed on. Do a quick check. The tripod is nice and level in the ground. Check that too. Check my hose is still there. That's all a good check. So the eastern hills are literally over there. And I won't point the cannon to the sun, but I'm going to point to where it's above the frame at the moment. So I'm pointing right now, and above the tree is where the sun is towards the east. And we'll have a quick shot of Bo, he's always included. So basically we're going to go back inside and I'll show you the way to connect to the dwarf. Alright, so this is the on button, and you just hold it in and release and that green circle appears and it now means that you're ready to connect by your device okay and over here we have my phone which is where I operate pretty much everything and there's the dwarf lab app so we're gonna go and hit that and inside the app I will change to the phone's UI so it's not the camera but for now we'll connect and it's just asking us to enable Bluetooth enable Bluetooth It's just searching for the dwarf now, and there it is there. You click on your dwarf name, and then it says connecting. Same green circle, and we're connected. So we'll hop into the phone. Okay, so we're in the phone. We just got to load the dwarf lab up because I had to load the other app. And here we go. So we're now in the dwarf lab app. So what you want to do here is click photo. And it's going to be dark until we change things around. Right, so we're on the phone screen now, and what we need to do is aim the dwarf at the sun, which we have done so. It is slightly not in alignment, so we're going to try track, but it probably won't work because the sun's not in full swing. So I'm going to give it a bit of a try. Let's type in the Atlas Sun. Here we go. And here it is there, then click the plus button to track, and it does change from portrait to landscape, and as I thought, the sun's not quite in view, so we just got to reset the position there, which is very easy. You just use your left thumb to tilt the dwarf towards the sun, which I'll do just now. We're going to stop this tracking just so the controls come back up, tilt down a little bit, and now we go back to Atlas, type in sun again, and do the tracking once more, and then it's going to work. So type in sun, wonderful. There we go, sun's there, and now we're tracking. All right, almost. Go to success. You can pinch zoom in to check your focus. I like to look at the black dots on the sun's surface and I get a focus based on how clear they are. So over here, we'll use the plus and minus buttons and get that in focus. And now I'm going to click on function and we're going to change the shutter and gain. You don't want too much shutter because the sun will get overexposed and turn white. You also want to lower the gain because it can look quite distorted with too much gain. So I'm just going to basically dim it down and get a nice balance of shutter and gain. Okay, so on the count, I'm also going to set this to 120 stacks. It can be a bit sensitive, so sometimes I use the minus and plus buttons, but I think I managed to get it to 120. And here we go, we're going to line up the dwarf again. Okay, so after you hit track, it'll start saying initialize. And now we're tracking the sun. So it's going to start counting all the settings you put in. It did remember gain 2 for some reason, but it is set to gain 40. And basically, immediately, you can do the same thing as I did in the focus. You can pinch zoom in and see the sun being stacked on your phone. And you can see the counts just steadily stacking up. Okay. 
I hope you have enjoyed this video and found it useful. It's very important to line the Dwarf 3 up to the sun, then go to your atlas and then say track. Otherwise it just tracks light and doesn't go to the sun. So I hope that was clear enough. And more out soon on the Dwarf 3, I want to show you how to track the moon and nebula and stars. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one. Until then. And we've got some really interesting sunflower heads going on. One sunflower, and there's a little bee. And we've got some new additions to the garden as well. Monarch caterpillars. And some very pretty flowers. Should I kick the ball? Yeah, I should kick the ball. Kiss the ball. Oh, we got it. Okay.